Welcome to Majitoots. Here's how to create a drop shadow in Canva. We got a blank project in front of us, so the first thing that I'm gonna do now is adding some text to our project. To add some text into your project, you can either simply press T on your keyboard or you can head over here to text on the left sidebar and then just simply drag and drop a heading from here. In fact, you can also just click on it and it will be added to our project immediately. Now to add a drop shadow to our text, all we need to do is to head over here to our effects panel, click on that one and then simply choose shadow. There are now four cool settings that you can adjust when using drop shadows. The first one is offset, then we have direction, blur and transparency. Also here you can choose the color for your drop shadow. As our text is already in black, we obviously don't want our drop shadow to have the same color. So I'm going to choose something else here. Maybe let's say red. And as you can see the drop shadow has been added successfully. Now to make your drop shadow a little bit more visible, you could play with these settings here. For instance, you could uh, increase the offset a little bit and you can see that the drop shadow now really sticks out. Also, you could increase the transparency a little bit to make it stick out even more. So as you can see, adding a drop shadow to a text is extremely simple. It needs to be noted that this hasn't been the case until very recently. This feature has only been added very recently in Canva and before that adding a drop shadow was actually much more difficult. But now you can simply head over to the effects panel and then simply click here shadow and, and you will have a drop shadow immediately. That's actually everything you need to know about adding a drop shadow to a text. But what if you would like to add a drop shadow to an element? First of all, let me delete this text here. And now we're heading over to elements. And I'm gonna choose here a rectangle. I'm just gonna drag and drop that rectangle into our project. And now, as you can see, when I click on that rectangle, there's actually no effects panel here anymore. So, unfortunately, what this means is that in Canva you can't just simply add these kind of effects to elements. However, there are two easy ways you can still add a drop shadow to a rectangle like that. First of all, you could simply copy that element here. And then you could just simply layer these two elements so that one is in the front and one is in the background. And that will also create a drop shadow effect. Let me just demonstrate. Obviously, I also have to change the color for one of these. So for this one here, for example, I'm going to change the color into red. And then I'm just going to put that over the other rectangle and just make it overlap a little bit like this. And that will also create a some kind of drop shadow for us. Of course, I can also go in there and then adjust um, the color of the other rectangle a bit to make it a little bit more visible like this. Now, the second option to add a drop shadow to an element is to have a look in the Canva library if they maybe already have something like that. So you could also just simply search here for drop shadow, for example. And then you will see that there are already different elements that you can choose from and they already have a drop shadow. And in these cases you will see that there are two options for the color here. So these pre-made elements right here, they already contain a drop shadow and with the use of those two squares you could still alter the colors a little bit to give it a more professional look. As you can see, we have all kinds of shapes here and they all come with a drop shadow already. And that's it guys, all you need to know about adding drop shadows in Canva. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video, if you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye!